Hi guys, welcome to Flip the Deck Tarot. In today's pick a card reading, we're going to be taking a look at your month ahead for August 2022. So we're going to look at what energies are going to be present for you during the month of August, um, maybe some surprises or challenges that might be around the corner for you, and just generally what you can expect for your month of August. So we have three readings to choose from today. For reading number one, we have this Opalite Angel. For reading number two, we have this Unicorn Sunset Aura Quartz. For reading number three, we have this cluster of Apophyllite and Stillbite. So take as much time as you need to choose the reading that's calling to you. You can um, pause on the close-ups of the crystals if that will help you to make your selection. I'm going to drop your timestamps down below in the description box and I will start with number one. I'll see you in your reading. Hi number one, if you were drawn to this Opalite Angel, this is going to be your reading. I'll set your angel off to the side and we will flip over your first card. This is going to give us an idea of the energy that you're going to be experiencing for the month of August. So we're going to use this Astro deck to see. We actually have card 56, Progressions, which says Journey. So um, August might be a month where you are really on your grind and on your experience and your expression to complete this journey that you have been on. So I'm actually going to pull another Oracle card to add to that energy and we'll talk about your overall energy as a whole. Let's take a look here. Okay, so we have the broken open card and this is card 28. Okay. First of all, with progressions, we are looking at the number 56, um, which does add up. The 5 and the 6 actually add up to 11. Um, and 11 is a number that represents intense manifestation and a deepening of spiritual connection and insight. Um, it can also sometimes be a number that's associated with awakening or receiving some sort of spiritual calling. So I'm already getting the sense that intuitively you're very tapped in during the month of August and will likely be more aware of the subtle energies that are playing out. Um, in some cases, I feel like saying that in some cases, these um, subtle energies, I would, I would um, more aptly term the not so subtle energies that we're gonna be experiencing, um, especially in the beginning of August, because um, we're going to be moving through this Lion's Gate portal on the 8th, so there's actually going to be a lot of intense energy. What I would say to you with this feeling that I'm getting that you might be um, experiencing the feeling of being a little bit more tapped in is the beginning of the month could possibly be pretty intense for you. Now, intense doesn't have to mean bad, um, but I do think that you are going to be feeling a lot. You're going to be highly intuitive. You're going to be very susceptible to the energies that are around you, which can be a great thing if the energies that are around you are positive and uplifting energies. Um, otherwise, I would say be a little bit mindful of um, who you're spending your time around, what energies you're spending your time around, um, shield your energy and protect your energy as much as you can because you could experience a little bit of sensitivity. Um, I also think that it might be important to note that the 11th of August could be significant to you with this number 11 showing up and that's kind of being highlighted for me because we're moving into the full moon um, around the 12th I think of the month so this is like that energy building toward that peak of the full moon and I think that this might be a time that is uh, particularly intense for you or a time when you might see some manifestations start to come through. You might see some progress being made. Um, you might notice that you are seeing signs and synchronicities that let you know that you are right on your path, that you are right on this journey as the progressions card talks about. So that might be an important time to keep in mind around the 11th or the 12th of the month. And for all of us, the 8th, um, and around there is going to be pretty significant. Um, yeah, I feel like given the fact that the Lionsgate portal on the 8th is already a time that's going to magnify and intensify in energies and kind of amp up manifestation potential and not just potential, but um, our ability to manifest. I think that for you, number one, this is going to be 
um, kind of double amplified. So um, this is a time of intense manifestation. This is a time of, for some of you, maybe even instant manifestation or a time when something you've been working on for a long time, maybe even something that you had given up hope on. You might see signs that this is starting to come through, uh, that the energy is moving, that there's some momentum behind it around the 8th all the way to that 12th um, when we're looking at that full moon energy. Um, so I feel like saying expect the week of, what would it be? It would be the week of the 7th, I believe, um, through the 13th to be pretty intense. Um, and just go into it knowing that. Know that it could be pretty busy for you. Know that some things that you've been waiting on could be coming in. Know that um, you may be very in tune with the energies that are around you. So I feel like if you know that beforehand, you can kind of prepare and um, do some things to kind of ground your energy maybe in the evenings and just keep yourself nice and centered during that time. This is all positive. It just might be a lot if you have a lot of things kind of falling um, all in that all in that week of August. So it could just be a little bit intense. Um, I feel like saying too, and I may have already said this, but I do feel like reiterating that something may come to a head during that week, the week of the 7th through the 13th for you. That's kind of the energy I'm picking up on. This could also be a time that you have some sort of epiphany um, or something might seem like it's becoming more clear. Something's being revealed to you during that week. So um, if you can take time to meditate, if you can take some time to tap in and just kind of like quiet everything down and listen, this might be a time that you're getting a lot of insight. Um, yeah, I'm getting kind of like a, a meditative energy from this broken open card because it looks like she is kind of taking a moment to tune in and just tap into um, more of an intuitive feeling. So this might be a time when you just kind of quiet down and listen, which I do think could be challenging for you because you might have a lot going on during this time. So this is going to require, um, this is going to require some focus to kind of calm everything down and come to that place where you can listen despite, um, all the noise that might be going on around you. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like the, that second week of August is going to be a time to take it all in. Your guides are kind of creating and highlighting a window of time um, from around the 11th or so and around when the full moon is all the way to the 28th. So what's really jumping out at me um, with that is there's kind of two full weeks of August right in the middle that I think your guides are highlighting and pointing out. So the time between those two points. So that would be the first full week that starts on Sunday the 14th and um, the week after that beginning on Sunday the 21st. These are weeks that are being highlighted as potentially um, the busiest for you in terms of progress. So I feel like this is a time when you're able to actually integrate what you may have learned. The first the first little bit of August might be like you're just trying to get a handle on what's going on. And those second weeks, those weeks starting on the 14th and the 21st, that's a time when you're going to feel more energized. You're going to feel like things are starting to make more sense to you. Um, some of these insights that you could have gained at the beginning of the month are going to be able to be applied during those two weeks. So do not, um, don't feel discouraged. Um, if in those first couple of weeks of the month, you're not really feeling like you're making sense of things or you're not feeling like you're able to make a lot of progress. It could feel like you're getting overwhelmed with information, but not moving, not making a lot of progress. Don't get discouraged by that because it really is a time for you to take in information and it's a time for things to work behind the scenes for you. And in those following two weeks is when you're really going to be hitting your stride, feeling more energized. Um, and those are likely going to be the weeks of the highest productivity that you're experiencing during this time. So, yeah, I feel like both of these cards here are placing a heavy emphasis on the journey of your soul and also the major themes that have been present in your life so far. And I think that's because as we move through this transformative time at the beginning of August, you're going to be putting certain karmic cycles that have been recurring in your life to rest. So this is a time of major shift for you, of major transformation for you. Um, your overall energy 
during the month of August isn't so much focused on the day-to-day -day events or the small things, the little mundane things. Um, and, and that kind of makes sense for that to be highlighted here because we are looking at your general energies for the month of August. But I think for you, a main theme is that this isn't about the, the, the teeny tiny little details of things. Most of the progress that you're going to be making through the month of August have to do with large themes that have been present in your life so far and really coming to some sort of close with some of the recurring karmic cycles that you may have experienced. So this is actually going to be hugely transformative for you. And I think a lot of that information, a lot of those downloads are coming in in the beginning of the month for you. And the integration is happening um, more towards the middle of the month. Really interesting. Um, what else is here? Yeah, um, this is about a soul's journey. I really feel like this is about a soul's journey for you. And this number 28 here on this broken open card, um, if you look closely, the number actually has a little green um, line, like the square is highlighted by a little green line. And that's actually an indication that this is focused around the heart chakra. So this is around your love center. Um, a lot of this progress that you have to do could have um, could be concerning your love life or could be concerning your heart center. So this is where, for some of you, an area of transformation is being highlighted. Um, kind of relating to the idea of finding inner peace and acceptance and forgiveness and compassion, uh, kind of going along those lines. The month of August might be a time that brings up some themes of forgiveness for you. There might be someone or some situation in your life that you will be forgiving or moving forward from during this time in August. I think the most important thing is that when we hold on to regret or resentment, we're kind of robbing ourselves of being present in the moment. And I feel like these are some of the messages that you are getting in the beginning of the month. Um, I feel like a lot of you are going to be really firmly rooting in that as this month goes on. You might be receiving the messages, you might be getting the information, you may even feel a little bit of resistance or... Um, yeah, a little, a little bit of maybe not wanting to fall into that energy at first, but I think it's going to start to become clear to you that letting go of a particular situation, moving on from a situation is actually going to free you and is going to be crucial to this journey that your soul is making. Um, yeah, when we hold on to things that we kind of wish had gone differently or situations that we wish had been treated differently. We wish we had been treated differently in certain situations. Um, when we wish that we had been cared for better or listened to more or given a chance or even situations where we wish we had acted differently. Um, when we hold on to that, there's a piece of us that's kind of being tethered to the past and it's it's much more difficult for us to move forward and to make the progress that we're looking for. So for some of you, some of this old stuff might come to the surface to be released during August. And I'm thinking especially during the beginning of the month, those first two weeks of the month. Um, yeah, this could be kind of an emotional time for you. It feels like it's really a necessary part of the process and, um, necessary for your continued growth. So as we are looking at these emotions coming up, as we are looking at this energy of being broken open and focused around the heart center, and like I was talking about kind of picking up on that vibe that you might be extra sensitive to the energies around you during this month, um, it can be a time of a lot of emotion because it can be a time when these, mo these emotions are coming to the surface so that they can be cleared away. And this is actually very essential and crucial to your journey. So it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful process and just kind of um, quieting down and allowing this to happen, I think will help it to be a lot more smooth of a, of a transition. So that's some of the general energies. I'm going to grab your tea leaf cards I've already shuffled for you and see what those are and how that kind of plays in to this energy here. So we have Grasshopper and this card says situations in the balance that require careful handling. We also have needle and thread. A sincere wish will be granted. That's beautiful. 
and lightning. Control your anger or you will be sorry. Okay, I'm getting more of a vibe of like, yes, these emotions and some of these past feelings, past resentment, past regrets really may, may be coming to the surface for you. And um, I do feel like with this grasshopper card, there might be a situation that you encounter during the month of August that does require a bit of a delicate touch. I feel like for some of you, this could have to do with a friend, a family member, um, even a romantic partner in your life. There might be an opportunity to have some open and honest dialogue with someone that's important to you. Um, this does kind of bring me back to that feeling of compassion and understanding and forgiveness that we were picking up with the heart chakra energy here. Um, <laughs> Yeah, because we also have this lightning card and we have this uh, kind of this this little bit of a warning to control your anger, to not let your anger get the best of you, even if you have been wronged in this situation. So if you do have an opportunity to clear the air with someone or to confront a situation that has been emotional for you, uh, the guidance here is to really control that part of you that might want to express how wronged you've been. Of course, it's it's totally okay and it's natural and it's going to be helpful for you to communicate that, but maybe not to feel all of those emotions or maybe not to let your anger lead you because there might be, um, this could be a situation where you don't have all of the information and potentially acting from a place of anger, that might be something that you regret later. Yeah, this is, this is actually really interesting energy, but I feel like because you're going to be feeling your emotions on such a deep level during this month, especially in the beginning of the month, um, you just want to make sure that you're acting in a way that you can be happy with once all of this settles down and in a way that feels true and authentic to your soul once all of this settles down. Um, I feel like this situation that you're going to confront in the month of August really has more to do with you and your personal journey than it does, um, than it has to do with this, whoever this person is or whatever the situation is. Um, it's not about them understanding. It's not necessarily about them even rectifying a past situation. It's about you being able to express being able to process and, and being able to move forward from this. So that's kind of the takeaway here. And that will be, that will be the main point of the situation resurfacing for you. Um, so this might not even be a conversation that you're having with a person, but this could be um, just some guidance about how to view a situation in general. Letting anger or regret or negative feelings get the best of you this month will only stunt your personal growth. And it looks like as you gain more peace about any situations that may be weighing heavy on you, that's when it looks like you're really starting to spring forward and make this massive leap. Um, I think a lot of you, for a lot of you, this is about letting things go, leaving them in the past so that you can continue along your journey without having to carry so much weight. So I just feel like saying that, um, just as kind of a reminder, when we forgive people or when we're able to accept what has happened in the past with gratitude for the lessons that we learned and just move on, um, we're really doing that for ourselves because it releases us and it allows us to continue to grow. So you might be dealing with some heavier energies at the beginning of the month, um, but it's really about how you move through those energies that um, that's what's going to count here and not letting them get the best of you and I feel like when you have mastered that, which I, I am very confident you're going to be uh, reaching this place of balance towards the beginning of the month, it's like you're going to take this big leap, um, just like a grasshopper would. So I really feel like that's, um, this is really important to the energy. Um, just like a grasshopper would, it's like you sail forward and you have this big wish being granted for you this month. So uh, maybe letting go of some previous baggage um, it's kind of allowing you to fill up your suitcase with more of what you want rather than dragging around a bunch of old stuff from the past. So um, I feel like a major theme for you during August is this idea of purging. And it is not just purging for the sake of uh, bringing up old things or processing uh, old wounds or emotions. This is really because you're 
able to release during this month and it's going to be crucial to the progress that you're going to make throughout the rest of the year. So yeah, um, releasing a lot from the past, but you have this wish being granted. So that's actually really beautiful energy. Let's look at the tarot and see what else is going on for you. Let's see, what energy do we have for, for number one for the month of August? Number one for the month of August. Okay. I feel like, I feel like looking at the energies Um, kind of working from the ground up here. So we have the Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and Justice. Um, okay, wow. Something something is really balancing out for you, number one, in the month of August. Um, there's that number 11 showing up again. So 11 is really important right now. And this really could have to do with highlighting the 11th of the month. Um, or the, the days kind of falling around that being very significant for you for whatever reason. This could also, again, be a sign of awake, awakening, a sign of making progress, a sign that your angels and your guides are with you. But definitely there is balance here with the Six of Pentacles and the Justice card. Um, you're coming through as the Queen of Swords. <laughs> um, you're really seeking truth this month. And you're also communicating very well, which is... Um, that's, that's great energy because if you, let's say you do need to have a difficult conversation or you need to get to the bottom of something, uh, you're able to express yourself very well this month. So you're able to um, be understood. And I think that this is also tapping back into this energy of you controlling your anger. This could even be for some of you a situation that you might not have been able to approach in the past. Maybe a situation that you were too angry about or you were too hurt about to... Um, to really be able to communicate well about in the past and this just feels like now you're able to get your point across now you are able to um, let someone know how you feel or let someone know how you would have preferred a situation go in the past so you're really standing in your power during this month you're really asking for what you want and i i feel like you're getting it i feel like you're getting it with this um energy of balance you're able to articulate even some of the deeper emotions that are coming up for you. So you're really working on that and you're really mastering that. I feel like instead of being tongue tied or being overwhelmed by an emotion, you're able to, um, to kind of channel all of that emotion into something that makes sense and something that can be expressed to others. So even for some of you, it might be that you're tapping into your emotions and maybe into some past experiences and the journey that you've been on, it's really going to kind of play into the work that you do or play into a project that you've been working on. Um, I feel like there's actually going to be a huge payoff from this. So it's like you're able to, how do I put this? It's almost like you're able to convey your personal experience in a way that makes sense to other people and in a way that helps them connect to you or what you're doing. And this is kind of showing up in several different ways because um, this is a general reading. So it's, it's actually going to be different for everyone. But for some of you, this could be that you're able to channel some of your experiences into, let's say, the writing that you do, or you're able to help other people and guide other people more effectively because you're tapping into your own journey and your own experiences. It could even be that you're able to convey a lot of feeling and emotion into um, the paintings that you're working on or the music that you are producing, something like that. Um, it could honestly for some of you just be that you're able to connect with people more easily through your shared experiences so for some reason I'm also kind of getting the images of, of someone on, up on a stage like giving a speech or a presentation um, presenting an idea so think like a TED talk type scenario if you've ever watched one of those I'm getting kind of the feeling of someone presenting and 
you know how sometimes it's like you really connect with a speaker because you resonate with their personal story. You can relate to them. They tell a story and you think, I can see myself in that story. They've been where I am. Um, and it's almost like if they hadn't told you that story or if they hadn't shared that deeper emotion, you wouldn't have been able to form any kind of connection with them. You wouldn't have really listened to anything that they had to say. So somehow it's like your experiences or your growth are providing clarity to you and are providing kind of a richness to either the work that you do or the connections that you're forming with others. Um, I feel like this isn't a month either where you're like really sugarcoating things. Um, and that's not necessarily to say that you're blunt, but it's like you're being more real. Um, it might be that you're being more real about how you're feeling. You're able to open up and you're kind of laying it all out there. Um, yeah, and, and I feel like this is affecting your life in, in several different ways, or this is showing up in many different ways because this is a general reading. But this is like you're pouring something very personal to you into the work that you do, or you're pouring something very personal to you into the way that you're communicating with other people and, and sharing and expressing with other people. And it's making it all more authentic. It's making it all more captivating. It's it's um, it's causing whatever is, is being produced to be something that people can really relate to. They can really feel it because they know that they they are where you've been or, or they are where you currently are. There's something very authentic about the way that you're sharing. And honestly, I'm seeing that for some of you, this attitude that you're taking on is affecting your finances somehow. It is bringing you more abundance. And in that way, it's almost like it's kind of evening out the scales because it feels sort of like your story or your experiences are aiding um aiding whatever whatever you're producing in the world they're adding value to your life and likely to the lives of others um so i feel like this is actually a message of like never think that your story is too small or too boring or um, too insignificant because it can touch someone on a deep level someone can relate to you uh, your voice, your experiences are unique and someone can relate to exactly what you have been through. So don't compare yourself to others and think, I don't have an interesting enough story or I didn't have as much struggle as someone else may have had. So there's really no point in me telling um, my story or um, opening up in this way. There is absolutely a point and someone needs to hear that message from you. So if this somehow plays into the work that you're doing, I feel like this is adding more value to the work that you're doing and in turn, you're actually being compensated for this. So it's like, um, like sticking with that painting example, it's like you tapping into these deep emotions and putting that emotion on the canvas is making your art more captivating. It's making it more interesting. It's making it uh, something that people can connect to on an even deeper level. And you're being compensated for digging deep and for expressing that emotion that other people might not be brave enough to or or maybe they didn't know how to put it into words you're kind of putting all of that into words so take that as it resonates because this can have to do with communication this can have to do with your personal relationships this can have to do with your art this can have to do with expression your um, job but but somehow your experiences are playing into this and it's really it's tipping the scales in your favor so let's peel back another layer and see what else we have okay we have the seven of swords in reverse and the world wow talk about authenticity um i do want to say this any new connections that you are forming during the month of august um they look really good because they're they're going to be built on this foundation of um equality first of all and also honesty so i feel like um you're not going into any relationships that don't feel like it's giving that equal give and take and you're also being very true and authentic to who you are and i feel like the people that you're meeting and the people you're connecting with are being real in that way as well so it's like the mask is falling off in some cases it feels like um it feels like you're able to connect on a, on a really real uh, basis with the people around you um, I feel like your honest intentions are being witnessed by the universe this month and I think that we're seeing that with the world card coming out 
right after the seven of swords. This is also the energy of moving past um, old wounds and old hurts as we were talking about old letdowns and starting something new. So starting a whole new cycle with this world card. Um, the seven of swords can also talk about, it can talk about those times when we're lying to ourselves um, in its reverse position. So I do think that you're seeing the truth about a lot of situations in your life. You are um, even seeing more clarity about your own inherent value and about the importance of your own story and your own journey this far. So no more, no more lying to yourself in a way that diminishes your value. Um, you're getting a lot of clarity about that. Really interesting, you guys. Really interesting because this, this theme of authenticity is very strong here. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is tied to your finances. Let's see how we are topping off this energy. Um, there you are again, uh, <laughs> kind of leading with this Page of Cups energy. So this is more of those vibes of embarking on something new with a feeling of excitement or continuing along a path you've already been traveling along, but doing it with a new zest, with fresh eyes with new imagination. Um, this can also be new love on the horizon for some of you. Um, I do like that because we're talking about healing the heart. So this could be healing that you're doing around this heart center that's actually encouraging new and healthy love to flow into your life. Um, this is also, again, love that will be balanced, that will be reciprocated, and that will be real and honest. So if honesty has been a theme for you, something that you've been lacking, um, in relationship, I feel like the month of August could be opening a door to invite someone into your life that wants to be true, that wants to be authentic, that wants to be um, devoted, and that kind of sees things the way that you do. You may share a, a past experience as we were talking about kind of letting that past experience lead the way for you. I feel like any person that you meet and, and invite into your life during this month is going to be on that same wavelength of wanting to um, wanting to learn from the past, wanting to grow from the past, and wanting to also be excited about what the future could be bringing. Um, I think you're starting to see that with an open heart, the possibilities are endless for you. And that's really that page of cups energy. So let's take a peek at the bottom of the deck. We have the two of pentacles, um, possibly a lot of juggling, a lot of busyness here. We were talking about that. So there might be a need for you to prioritize during this month. There might be a need even for you to prioritize, um, using some time during this month to get your thoughts in order to gain clarity and being okay, being in that energy, and then also using time to integrate some of what you have learned and, um, being more productive, but it's like, I'm, I'm kind of getting the feeling there's a time for, for opening up, for tapping in, and there's a time for being productive. And they're going to be very distinct times for you during the month of August. There might be times when you need to sit quietly and figure out what those next steps are. And then there's times when you need to get going and actually integrate those lessons that you've learned. Beautiful energy. And I am, I'm sensing more balance here. Two of Pentacles, another card of balance. Six of Pentacles, the Justice card, balance is coming in for you. Um, however, that, however, that's showing up in your particular case. That could have to do with relationship. It could have to do with um, your finances getting balanced out. Beautiful. Let's pull some advice for you and see what we have going on. So we have, the cards are stuck. We have first quarter moon in Leo with the advice to be humble. We also have last quarter moon in Taurus. Um, be proud of yourself. And finally, new moon in Aries. Go for it. <laughs> I really, really love that energy. So um, looking at that a little bit deeper, we're starting out with this energy of be humble. And I feel like sometimes we do have to kind of humble ourselves to be a little bit more vulnerable. Um, that vulnerability and tapping into the importance of our own story and our personal growth is going to be key for you. I don't feel like this is the energy of you being very full of yourself or anything like that. I actually think this is kind of like um, being true, being honest, being authentic, true to yourself. Um, 
recognizing that maybe some things are harder to share or maybe it has made you feel uncomfortable to be so vulnerable to put your story out there to share your experiences but this is kind of you humbling yourself and allowing yourself to be open uh, to those around you be proud of yourself you have come so far and i think this is a time when you're going to see that all of that progress is really starting to pay off be proud of yourself for making it this far for um for growing in this way for getting through these more difficult experiences so that now you have this beautiful story to tell and then ending it with this Aries energy of go for it. I feel like all all signs are a go for you. I feel like August is going to be a time of a lot of growth and improvement for you and a lot of forward momentum as we were talking about those two weeks where I think productivity is going to be off the charts for you. So looking at, let me take a look at moon signs in terms of these cards that you got so the moon will be in leo we had this leo energy here the moon's going to be in leo on the 25th 26th of the month um that actually falls into that that productive window that we were talking about for you the moon will be in taurus um the 17th through the 19th of the month and the moon will be in aries the 15th uh and the 16th so again a lot of dates falling into that that third week of August maybe being significant for you. So um, I think we had kind of a date range there. We have kind of a date range of the 15th through the 19th being significant and then also the 25th and the 26th. So yes, those might be key dates for you. They might be important. Keep them in mind as you uh, head into this month. I wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and letting me read your cards. I'm wishing you the most beautiful, the most productive, the most healing month of August. Um, if you did like this reading, if you resonated with any of these messages, don't forget to like the video, leave me a comment down below and hit that subscribe button if you feel like it. And hopefully I will see you again really soon in another reading. Bye. Hi, number two, if you were drawn to this unicorn sunset aura quartz, this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at your energies for the month of August. I will put your stone off to the side and let's flip over your astro card and get an idea of what your general energy is um, for the month. So we have the card Juno partnership and this is card 31. I'm actually going to grab you another oracle card uh, to add to that energy, kind of clarify and see what's going on. Okay. What else do you have for number two? So let's see here. We have Let It Go, card 24. So um, interesting, interesting energy. Right away, what the first thing that's jumping out to me is actually a date range for you. So this is looking at August 24th through the 31st being significant for you. Um, so that's actually um, the very end of the month is standing out. Actually, interestingly enough, <laughs> I look at the calendar, that's the second to last Wednesday to the last Wednesday of the month. So Wednesday to Wednesday um, being very significant for you this month. So you might want to keep those dates in mind. Um, both of these cards here actually talk about partnership. Um, and they also both have images of birds on them, two birds on both of these cards. So for some of you, birds may be significant um in a partnership this could be a romantic partnership or this could be speaking about friendships business partnerships or your relationships with family members uh, during the month of august but i am getting the feeling that the number two is important here so i'm definitely getting like two of cups vibes um yeah, I'm wondering if some of you have like a particular bird or something like that that's significant in your connection or a bird that you've been seeing a lot around a connection or around some um, important transition that you're moving through in your life right now. That would be interesting. But I kind of I want to hit on what's coming to mind right away. And what I would call this is um, I would call this a surface level interpretation here. So this isn't necessarily the energy that I'm getting, but this is the energy on the surface of this. So there might be some of it that resonates for you. And that let that surface level interpretation that I'm already seeing here 
is that for some of you, there may be a partnership that you let go of or you walk away from during the month of August. Um, as many of you know, we are approaching the Lionsgate portal on the 8th. And this is a time of a lot of transformation, a lot of growth. So it can be a time uh, of great change and um, kind of a time that as we step through that energetic threshold and begin to realize a lot of what we've been working on, um, kind of realize it in terms of manifest it on the other side of that threshold. So that change can be that change can be a little bit difficult. And I feel like the act of stepping through that threshold, which a lot of us are going to be doing, um, when, when we're presented with these energetic portals, I will just say, um, the Lionsgate portal is, um, it's a huge time for shift, for change, for growth. But quite honestly, not all of us are ready to go through it um, every time we approach this, this time of the year. So it does come back around annually and, and there might be times when we feel more prepared, more ready for a change, more ready for that growth. And I do feel like a lot of us, a lot of the collective that I'm reading for are gonna be ready for that change and that growth. So there is an element of change that's inherent to this. And if this is about stepping away from something, walking away from something, that could be, um, it could be something that's becoming clear to you around the time of the Lionsgate portal on the 8th of August, so 8-8. Um, now, this doesn't have to be necessarily a partnership that you are sad to walk away from, but I do feel like it might be something that you've known is coming. And you could be kind of approaching this time knowing that this is the direction that you need to move in. Um, but change, change is being highlighted to me because um, I feel like there's a big shift happening here. Now, I do, here's the thing, I want to point out um, the number 31 on this Juno card and that actually adds up to a 4. And with the number 24, we combine this to be the number six as well. So we're, we're kind of looking at the energy of four and six here. And both the numbers four and six really talk about stability. They talk about um, sturdy foundations and balance. So it does feel like whatever changes you're experiencing during this month, even if that means walking away from something, um, switching something up, letting something take on a different energy than ever before, it feels like it feels like these changes are going to be balanced changes. It feels like they're going to be things that are well thought out um, and ultimately changes that bring you to a place of more stability. So it does kind of feel to me like these are changes that you may have been making for a while, like you've been slowly working toward this. I'm not really sensing any abrupt or wildly unexpected shifts in energy. I just feel like this might be a time when you're, you're kind of giving it that final push to make this transformation. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, this is not really about you walking away from a partnership as it may seem on the surface. This isn't really necessarily about you stepping away from someone or leaving someone behind. Although for some of you, that could be the case. But I think that this is really the energy of you letting go of the way you thought something would look um, or the way that you thought something was going to happen. And this is more the energy of letting it flow naturally. Um, and that's really what's going to be in your highest good. So I think for a lot of you, there's going to be some significant healing um, taking place in the area of your personal relationships this month. Um, I'm noticing now again that this is another card that is um, green around the number, which is an indication that this is having to do with the heart chakra, which seems pretty obvious on this card because um, there's a heart here. But actually, group one had the same energy. So yeah, I'm just picking up on that. This might be a time of a lot of heart healing going on in the collective because this has been a repeated message. Um, I do feel like this is letting go of, of the way that you thought something was going to look or the way you thought something was going to unfold. And that's really what you're stepping away from, um, this expectation, this idea. 
Um, this let go card really talks about forgiveness. It talks about healing resentments. It talks about moving forward in a more positive direction. And that is again, really interesting because the idea of releasing past hurt, um, so that we're able to move on it really, it came up in reading one. So that is a clue to collective energy that we might all be experiencing during this time, especially as it relates to moving through this Lionsgate portal toward the beginning of the month on the 8th, like I was saying. So um, this card really reminds us that forgiveness is really just a commitment to stop telling an old story. Um, and I felt like smiling when I said that. So yeah, it's, it's, forgiveness is something that allows us the room to start telling a new one that a new story that's more in alignment with our soul's purpose. So it's like you're dropping old stories during the month of August, whether that's from old wounds and resentments, old disappointments, old beliefs, expectations, even rules that you may have set for yourself or rules that were imposed upon you by someone else. It's like you're realizing, hey, I don't have to play by these rules anymore. Or that doesn't have to be my truth anymore. And with this energy comes the energy of dreaming bigger and better and more aligned dreams. So that is uh, really what's in store for you in the month of August. So be ready to become even more clear about what you what you want your story to be, um, what direction you want to move in, because this feels like letting go of the way that things have looked in the past. So if this is about a love connection for you, a romantic partnership for you, I do feel that some of you are walking away from a story that you've been telling or a story that you've been told about this partnership. Um, kind of walking away from the expectation that this partnership will continue to move in the direction that it has. This is about creating more harmonious unions. This is about moving into the energy of making things work better than they have before. So this can even be the energy of um, allowing something to work better. And it does feel like something may just click or that you might even reach a point where you feel you want to walk away from this situation. And that's when things start to open up and unfold for you. And you start to see like, it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to play out this way. There are more opportunities here. There's a different story that could be told. So I do want to look at your tea leaf cards to see how we can open up this energy more and what it might be applying to. But Try to apply that concept to whatever you've got going on in your life right now, even if this isn't about a romantic partnership. There might just be ideas that you have held on to for a long time about how something needs to be done, how it needs to unfold, um, what step one, step two, and step three are. And then during the month of August, you're going to see, you know what? It doesn't have to happen like that. Like maybe I can do step three first and then go back and do step one. It doesn't have to happen the way that I thought, or I don't have to uh, hear from this particular person in order to have this opportunity. For some of you, this is actually about you. Um, how do I put this? This is about you choosing yourself. Um, giving yourself an opportunity, not waiting to be chosen by someone else. However, that resonates for you. This can be about taking those steps and taking that plunge to make something happen for yourself without even receiving the approval or the recognition or the go ahead from, from some outside party. This is about you redefining how something gets done. Maybe even setting new rules and new schedules and new, um, new expectations for yourself as you start to see new possibilities. So let's look at your tea leaf cards. I have these shuffled for you already. So we have the ladder card. This says climbing towards success. You actually got a month of the year card um, and you have May. Ooh, interesting. And you have the angel card, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. This is all really beautiful energy. And I love the latter because we're talking about you're redefining the way that something can get done. And this shows that you're going to have a lot of success, especially when you have this realization about how something doesn't need to work the way that you thought it was going to. This can be about your job or your finances. This can be like 
realizing that you don't have to necessarily support yourself in this particular way that may have been laid out for you or the way you thought was possible for you. There might be a new option. So new ideas and new opportunities might be presenting themselves to you, but it's like really this energy of moving in a more successful um, direction. And if this is about a partnership, this is showing some form of success or, or movement in this partnership. And that might be from releasing expectations, releasing uh, the idea that this has to play out in a certain way, or this has to happen on a certain timeline. It's what allows this to open up and to flow a little bit easier. It's allowing you to have that success. Um, yeah. So looking at this energy of May, for some of you, the month of May is jumping out because there's something significant that you have planned for the month of May that you already know about. So we're looking at um, next year. So we're actually, this is really interesting. We were actually already talking about the number four and the number six. And now with May, we're looking at the fifth month of the year. Um, so three, four, five being significant to you. Hmm, really interesting. Um, in that case, I'm feeling like a lot of you might be working on something really diligently between now and around this time of, I'm going to call it a point of celebration or a point of achievement that you might be experiencing around May. So if there's something already highlighted and you're like, I just have to get to this point and by this time next year, I'm going to be here and you're just really putting your head down and doing the work until that point, this could be a message for you to kind of just keep up on that. You will have the success that you're seeking around that time. Um, it's, it's giving you a clue and there's, I really feel an encouraging energy here. Major progress will be made toward this achievement during this month of August. And this might not be something that you fully see the fruits of until later on, until towards the beginning of next year. But it's like, if that's the case, it's something you already know. It's something you're going to put the work in and you're expecting a great return around May. Um, yeah, or something that you start during month, uh, the month of August is going to reap major rewards in May. Uh, for others of you... This could be about something that you started in May of this year and you're starting to see the rewards during August. So something you've been working on for that time. Because we're looking at the energy of three, four, and five, I'm really being, um, oh, I'm sorry, not three, four, and five. <laughs> we're looking at the energy of four, five, and six. So I'm really feeling something around April, May, June. And this can be either something that started during that time this year or that you're looking forward to next year. So there, there might also be a Taurus, an Aries, or a Gemini that's significant to you. Um, you could have met someone during that time of the year or you could have met someone that falls under those signs. This could also be highlighting you and um, your signs. So take that as it resonates. All of these cards here show great growth, success, and upward movement for you. And also uh, a really strong spiritual connection that lets you know that you're not alone when you're making these transitions. So this is really feeling like a lot of guidance and a lot of protection. If there's something you're worrying about um, that you've been working on since around May or something you're looking forward to and you're worried that you might not hit these goals, you might not achieve this, this is showing you that the work that you're doing is highly protected, that you are being looked after, you're being looked over and guided. Um, this ladder is also speaking to me about moving up the ladder in terms of potentially getting a promotion or increasing your value in some way. So this could be raising your prices in your business or making more money in your business. Um, this for some of you could be about moving to the next tax, tax bracket or something like that. But I do want to um, just highlight that energy because it's really, it's beautiful energy um, in terms of, to me, ease. Like there's, there's a little bit of difficulty associated with climbing a ladder, but it's not as much difficulty as if the ladder wasn't there. Because if the ladder wasn't present, you might not even be able to reach that next point. And this is showing me that there's almost, um, I'm seeing it as a golden ladder. <laughs> there's almost a golden ladder in place for you that's helping you reach that next step, that's helping you um, do that growth 
and maybe even helping you see how things are more possible for you. As we were talking about ideas and having more clarity, having different ideas about how things can can pan out for you. So very interesting energy, really the energy of moving forward, the energy of success. Let's take a look at the tarot. What else is going on for you, number two, during the month of August 2022? Okay. Um, we're going to look at the energy from the bottom up here. So we have the Four of Swords, the Ten of Cups, well, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Um, yeah, we were talking about this potentially having to do with a romantic connection. The Ten of Cups is about love. It's about kind of having it all in terms of love and partnership and growth in a relationship. So I really am seeing, um, I'm seeing that for you with this energy that we had here. I'm really again i want to highlight i really think for a lot of you this is about letting go of how you thought this was going to go letting go of the disappointment maybe even forgiving someone that you really still care about someone you have a lot of love for and that loves you as well and welcoming in that forgiveness or welcoming in that that new perspective that new way that we can um, tackle this problem or that we can progress this relationship is really bringing you into this ten of cups energy it's bringing you into the energy of having it all having what you've been wanting um maybe getting there a little bit differently than you thought yeah <laughs> from the four of swords i'm getting a really strong energy of someone healing um healing on all levels but what's being highlighted here is healing from burnout so taking some time to rest and recover this could be particularly relevant to you if you've been working very very diligently since may like we were talking about or since um somewhere around there working really really hard and you might find the need to rest a little bit especially at the beginning of august whether you're experiencing this burnout or not the four of swords is about healing and i think that this is um, kind of tying back into this energy of, of letting go so that we can heal letting go of what's happened in the past letting go of our expectations from the past and um, releasing the need for it to happen the way we expected or releasing the need for every i want to say like every box to be to be ticked to be checked um maybe this is about letting go of some of the long list of things that you have to get done and just knowing that it will be okay even if everything doesn't get done perfectly it will be fine um just taking a minute to rest and taking taking some time to recover um, I feel like in August, you're really giving yourself the permission to slow down a little bit. But what's interesting about this is I don't see this impacting your ability to succeed or your ability to make progress. In fact, it's like slowing down is allowing you to heal and recover and actually speeding up your manifestation. So it's speeding up these things that you wish to bring into your life um, by slowing down. August is a time really for you to enjoy the success that you do have, even if you have bigger goals and dreams that you still want to tackle. Um, August is the time for you to take notice of how far you've come and what you have been able to create in your life um, and practice being a little bit more present. Um, this is also the energy of you nourishing your relationships, having some fun experiences with your partner or with your children or with extended family. I just heard family reunion for some of you. Definitely family reunion energy with the, um, with the Ten of Cups. Um, this is also a time for you to enjoy your money with the sign of Pentacles. Enjoy what abundance you have. Treat yourself, even if it's a very small gesture. Uh, enjoy what you have been able to create. Yeah, some of you really might be going on a trip. With this energy of slowing down and enjoying and being present, connecting with friends and family, enjoying the fruits of your labor a little bit more. You might be going on a trip. This could be something you saved for, something that you're happy to use the money that you have earned on. Um, I feel like saying though, even if you don't have a trip planned, um, because not everybody does <laughs> for the month of August, 
don't be bummed about that because there are ways that you can create this type of energy without having a flashy vacation on the uh, on the calendar so don't be bummed about like oh i'm not going anywhere i'm not doing any of this Think about how this energy can be cultivated and created even in small ways um, because they can be just as just as healing as a vacation. In fact, sometimes more because honestly, sometimes we need a vacation from our vacation because we do too much and we get too exhausted. So um, don't be bummed at all if you don't have some some hectic um, big plans um, because this is really about just being more present. This might be just taking some time to hang out with your kids, play some games with your kids, go to the park, go to the beach, um, get together with your friends, hang out with your partner, get your family together maybe before um, before it's time to get back to school if that's the kind of schedule you're on or something like that. Just taking some time to just sit and enjoy. You know, enjoy the little things. Enjoy um, enjoy your backyard. Enjoy your, your patio, your balcony, your whatever you've got going on, you know, enjoy what that is that you have and, and whatever effort and energy you've poured into creating that and just slow down a little bit. The beauty of this is you're moving towards this great success. So um, the slowdown will not slow down the manifestation. It might even help you see things more clearly and help you see what you want to create more clearly, what you want to amplify and bring, bring into your life um, in a, in a bigger way, in a greater way, because you're really able to tap into to exactly what you want. I really love, I love this energy and I love the idea that you can still make progress without stressing. Um, that ladder is still there for you without a whole lot of stress and without a lot of striving. So let's look at the next layer. We have the Queen of Cups and the Three of Swords. Um, beautiful energy of healing. Three of Swords can be a card that we dread to see. I do not dread it in this um, in this spread. I don't dread it with this energy. I think this is about um, this healing that we we've been talking about. This is about you stepping into this emotionally intelligent place, into this very balanced place, and letting go of past hurts, letting go of past wounds, major healing. For a lot of you, this healing is going to help you to be able to express deep love and not only to express it, but also to receive it. Um, it's going to help you to be able to attract it into your life. So um, beautiful, beautiful energy of healing here. You're healing for a purpose. You're healing because this is going to make you be able to experience more love and more joy and more partnership and companionship in your life. Um, I feel like saying to you, even if this work feels really hard at some point in the month of August, because I feel like that could be the case, you might hit a point where you think, I am so over this, I'm so exhausted, I'm tired of doing this work, I'm tired of healing, like, why is there another layer for me to peel back and to explore? I'm so sick of this, when am I going to be there? Even if you hit that point, just hang in there, because I feel like the payoff is going to be um, huge and delicious. And that that sounded really nasty so um <laughs> maybe that's a message for some of you maybe for some of you 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 have a little bit of a dirty mind and that was like exactly what you needed to hear let's just move on from that um there's so much heart healing here that it just it feels crazy to me it feels like the the progress that you're making in august is huge um and for some of you this healing that's being done might even be something that's stemming from childhood or family issues with this 10 of cups. And it could even be frustrating like that, that this is still going on or that this is still an issue or that you even have to worry about these past things. But what I will say to you is as you heal this, you become a better partner. You become a better, um, a better lover, a better friend, a better, sister, a better brother, but whatever it is, whatever you wish to do and succeed in your life, you're becoming better because of this deep healing. It's very necessary work. It can feel overwhelming. It can feel daunting. It can seem endless at times, but this is all moving you into this queen of cups energy. 
a very balanced energy, a very mature energy, someone who has integrated all of these lessons and can express and can feel the, the full spectrum of emotion. And that's what it is to be alive. So you're moving into this place of being alive, um, being truly able to feel and, and to connect. Gorgeous, gorgeous energy. Uh, I'm, I'm excited. Um, I just kind of pick up on the feeling of you having a sense of being whole again and of like really working toward being whole. Um, it's like you're doing this for yourself. You're doing this healing for yourself. You're doing this to make yourself whole and you are empowering yourself to be in the position to have this kind of control. So, wow, um, huge. Let's look at your final layer here, three of wands. Yeah, this is really the feeling for you. It's like, I feel like you can sense your dream. Like you can sense your manifestation coming and like you're just waiting. Like, <laughs> um, I, I feel like this has become something that's very solidified in your mind, something that you believe wholeheartedly. You're just waiting for this to come in. Um, very expectant energy here. It's the energy of knowing. It's not really so much the energy of hoping and praying and crossing your fingers. It's the energy of knowing you've done the work, knowing that you are this powerful queen of cups and you're just like, you're just like standing there ready to receive. Um, I think that releasing yourself from old thought patterns that may have been telling you, telling you differently, like maybe old thought patterns that may be telling you that you can't have certain things, certain things weren't meant for you or that it's going to be difficult for you. This is a major contributing factor for you finding yourself in this expectant energy because um, you've released all of that. You, you know you deserve this. You know what you are um, worth and what you deserve to experience in this world. So this is really beautiful energy. Um, I feel like this ladder here is kind of a symbol of this path getting clearer and clearer as you move on. Because at one point you may have felt like you were kind of climbing this mountain with your bare hands and your bare feet, like literally just struggling your way up this mountain. Um, rocks falling, slipping, and you're just trying to hang on for dear life. And now it's like you have this ladder that's making the climb much easier. And that's really just because the clarity that you're gaining and the old stories that you're letting go of. I want to look at the bottom of the deck energy here. So we have the Ten of Swords. Um, exactly. The, the, this is This is everything that you're letting go of and releasing. Um, I'm noticing how both of these... Wow, could these cards look more similar? Like look at the way that she's standing there. In one card, she's walking away from something and in the other card, she's looking forward to what's to come. So you're really walking away from um, some of these heavier energies, walking away from a sense of defeat about things and gaining new perspective, gaining new clarity and um, new ideas about how these things can be possible for you, about how it can be possible for you to have what you deserve. Ace of Cups under the Ten of Swords, new love, <laughs> new love. And this can be new love for yourself, new love for a passion, new love for another. It can, it can mean a lot of things, but it's beautiful energy. It's very hopeful energy. So let's get some advice for you. I'm excited. Let's get some advice. for number two for the month of August. Let's see. We have full moon in Gemini. Embrace the flow of life. I feel like that is perfect. Um, and we have first quarter moon in Scorpio. Release your blocks. And finally, last quarter moon in Virgo. Attend to the details. Um, yes, yes. This energy, I feel like embracing the flow of life is exactly what you're doing. You're not fighting against the current anymore. You're you're seeing how, you know, maybe it does flow this way. Maybe it's time to rest. Maybe it's time to take a break. Maybe it's time for a new perspective. And you're really able to flow with that energy now. Um, that's exactly what you're working on. 
uh, kind of taking the ups and the downs and doing the healing when it's time and doing the expanding when it's time to do that. Uh, release your blocks. We've talked so much about that. Your guides are just encouraging you to continue to do that. Whatever's blocking you, whatever thought patterns may be blocking you, whatever fears may be blocking you, releasing all of that and stepping into this Queen of Cups energy and attend to the details. So uh, really looking for these, these areas where there can be improvement, really taking a good look at it. And for some of you, I think these details are uh, your connections. I think they're your your friends, your family, maybe taking some time to really focus on all of that. So I also want to look at um, how the moon is going to be moving this month and see what these energies could be telling you in terms of significant dates. So we're looking at a full moon in Gemini. Um, so we don't have a full moon in Gemini this, this month. I think it's in Aquarius or... Hmm. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but I want to look at when the moon is in Gemini. So the moon is in Gemini on the 20th and the 21st um, in Scorpio, which might be significant for you on the 4th through the 6th. Interesting. There's your real highlight there because we were already talking about the 4th through the 6th here with your beginning energy. So... Um, this is the energy of releasing blocks. That might be a time when you are doing a lot of that purging work. And then finally in Virgo, the moon's going to be in Virgo um, on the 1st. So I think this video will be live on the 1st. So it, um, today and then again on the 27th uh, and the 28th. So these might be significant dates for you. Really, really highlighting that 4th through the 6th for you. Really significant movement happening there. And yes, I am wishing you such a beautiful and um, happy, productive healing month for August. And um, yeah, I just hope that this goes great for you. I hope that you're able to step into this Queen of Cups energy so easily and effortlessly. And I think that's what's happening here. I think a lot of your work is going to be done up front in the beginning of the month. And you're going to kind of sail through and you're going to be in this very expectant energy, this very... Um, attractive energy, really attracting all that you want to manifest for the month of August. So yes, thank you so much for hanging out with me and letting me read your cards. If you enjoyed this reading, if you resonated with any of these messages, don't forget to like the video, leave me a comment down below and hit that subscribe button if you feel like it. And hopefully I will see you very soon in another reading. Bye. Hi, number three. If you were drawn to this Apophyllite and Still Bite cluster, this is going to be your reading. I will put your stone off to the side and we're going to start this reading by turning over your astro card and getting an idea of what your overall energy is going to be for the month of August 2022. So we have actually the South Node card. This card says past. So this is about past energy. This is card 33. Okay, I'm going to open this energy up a little bit more with another art, um, oracle card and uh, we will take a look at both of the energies together. Let's see what we've got. Okay, what is your general energy number three for the month of August 2022? Okay, we have Awakening Genius, card 29. Um, this card does deal with the throat chakra. So this can be about um, some form of expression for you. This can be about communication, maybe communication coming in from the past because I am getting this energy of something returning from the past, but I actually wanna take a minute to talk to you about the numbers that are coming through for you um, with these cards. So the first thing that's jumping out at me is we have master number 33 here with the south node card. Um, and then with this awakening genius card, this is card um, 29, which adds up to 11. So that's another master number. So I feel like, <laughs> um, I feel like August is going to be a time of a lot of enlightenment for you and a deepening of kind of your understanding when it comes to your purpose and the significance of everything that you have experienced so far in your life's journey as we tap into this past energy. Um, the South Node can talk a lot about our karma and it can also talk about past lives um, as well as experiences that we've had kind of in the past of, of our current life cycle. So the month of August is going to 
bring a lot of clarity for you on a past situation. Um, it can also be a time when you're clearing a lot of karma, even karma that's been following you around um, from past lifetimes. I feel like the intensity of what's going on for you in August is going to be apparent, especially when we're dealing with these two master numbers. This is a lot of intense energy. We are also approaching the Lionsgate portal on the 8th of the month. So this is going to be a lot of um, very, I want to say dynamic energy. Like there's going to be a lot moving and changing for you this month. There's going to be a lot of realizations, a lot of wake, wake ups um, for you this month. Yeah. I feel like for some of you and really I, I'm feeling this pretty strongly. So I feel like the, you're going to receive clarity on a past situation during this month. And this could be a situation that is somehow still relevant in your life right now. Um, or this could be you revisiting old patterns or dealing with a situation that feels a lot like something you've thought before or something that has happened before. So I want to touch on that a little bit. This can be about something coming back from the past that's actually still like it's still in your mind. It could still it could still make a difference in your life. Like it's something you're still connected to. It's not something you've just put like put away on a shelf somewhere um, from the past. But this can also be about something that you're really revisiting that you could have forgot about. So let's look at some examples of this. Um, first of all, someone from your past might return um, this month. Some issue from the past, some things that you thought you had laid to rest might resurface this month. Um, you may find yourself facing a challenge during August that seems very similar to a challenge you've faced in the past. Um, you might even be participating in something that you haven't done in a long time, something that's kind of nostalgic for you, or you're reviving some kind of old passion or revisiting an old skill. Um, yeah, I feel like there was something else I wanted to say with that. It's, it's very odd. I feel almost a sense of deja vu with this. So for some of you, you might really um, be picking up on this. And you could have even experienced this leading up to August, like this feeling of deja vu. And it, this could even be about someone that you're meeting during this time or that you met recently, where you have almost this feeling of like, have I known you before? Um, something seems oddly <laughs> almost eerily familiar about this. And this could be because this is someone that you've had a past life connection with. So this is going to hit differently for everybody. Um, these can be really positive things. And these can be things that you view as challenges during the month, something coming back from the past, um, old, old disagreements, old arguments, or old problems that you have to work through. Um, maybe challenges that you face with a particular person that you haven't really Maybe you haven't interacted with this person in a while, or maybe this problem hasn't come up in a little while, and now you find it resurfacing during this month. Um, what I find interesting about this is really the key message that I'm getting from this situation is that although this might seem very familiar to you, if this is, um, especially if this is a challenge for you, although this situation may seem familiar to you and it may seem like you are revisiting the exact same thing that you have experienced in the past, um, you're very different now. So whatever this thing is that's recurring, it's going to be expressed and experienced differently by you because you are not the same person as you were the last time this was an issue for you or the last time you interacted with this person or the last time you tried to do this particular thing. You have grown a lot and you have changed a lot since that point. So although you're visiting something very familiar, um, it will take on a very different tone because you are not the same as you were before. The month of August is going to be a time for you to utilize some kind of new skill that you've learned or new attitudes or mindsets that you've adopted. Um, maybe new coping techniques that you've been practicing, whatever it is for you, because like I'm saying, every situation is going to be different, but the point is you're not the same as you were then. And that's going to become abundantly clear to you this month. Um, I feel like some of you might find yourself in a situation with your family where you feel like 
you're being shoved back into some old role. Um, or you might catch yourself playing the old role that you used to play whenever you were in this particular scenario. This happens to us a lot with family because although we may have grown and changed in other scenarios, as soon as we get back into that very familiar setting of our family where we we have a certain like a certain role that we play we have a certain spot that we fit in and this can happen in a friend group as well this can happen like in a work scenario there are certain expectations of you and you can find yourself playing this old role so it could be something like that where you kind of catch yourself being shoved back into this old role um, but when that happens it's like you realize that you aren't that person anymore that you've grown out of that role that you've evolved into something new and you're going to handle this situation very differently. You're going to notice yourself during the month of August handling these situations very differently than you used to. You might stand up for yourself when before you would have allowed yourself to be trampled all over. Um, if someone from your past returns, you might find that your feelings about them have changed or that your approach um, when you're interacting with this person is different. It's just not like it doesn't play out the same way that it used to. Um, for some of you, you may face a challenge that has stopped you in the past, something that you weren't equipped to deal with in the past. And now you're noticing that you have more tools, you have new resources and you have new wisdom that's helping you to be able to cope with that. So this is really a, a reminder to you that you will have success in places where you have previously struggled because of the person that you have evolved into this personal evolution that you've been working on is going to allow you to have success. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, this can be about skills and this can be about, like I was talking about like new coping um, tools. So yeah, this can have to do with how you personally respond to a situation. This can be like somebody who really used to get under your skin no longer has the power to do that because you know how to deal with this now or you've been given insight into why this person acts this way and now you can kind of see see them for what they are, see the situation for what it is and you're like, it's not going to bother me anymore because I totally know what this is. I totally know why you act like that. Or this can be like um, something you weren't able to do before. So let's say there was um, like something in your work or something in your business that really has stumped you in the past. Maybe you had a great idea, but when it came to actually taking the practical steps to setting that up, you just didn't have the skills. Like maybe there were certain computer skills that were necessary, certain programming skills, or um, you had to set up a website and you're like, I don't know how to do this. So you weren't really able to execute that plan. And now you have this new plan, this new idea. And because of other work you've been doing, you've gained some skills. Like you have some more tools under your belt and you might not even realize that you are going to be able to apply these skills and these tools to this next endeavor. But when you hit that block and you'll know it because it will feel very familiar, you might even have some fear rise up because you might think, oh no, here I am again facing down the same problem and I wasn't able to do it before. This is what stopped me before. Or you might have a feeling of dread, like I don't want to try to set up that website again. Or I don't want to have this conversation with this person again because it never goes well. But as you get into this, you're going to see, hey, I have better ways of dealing with this than I used to. I have more knowledge than I used to and now I'm able to do this with more ease. So this is really the main theme for you. Um, things from your past coming up, but <laughs> you're not your past. Like you are not the same as you were in the past. So you are confronting these, um, these challenges. If they are a challenge, it doesn't have to be a challenge. These can be welcome, um, things that are very welcome to, to come back into your life. But you're, you're either confronting challenges or you're confronting these experiences with a new um, a new lens because you have more knowledge and more experience. You've, you've gone through a lot of growth. Um, I feel like August is going to be <laughs> kind of this time of testing for you. Um, it's going to test you in a way that lets you see what you have that lets you see um, 
how much you've grown. So I don't think that this test is for anyone else. It's not to prove anything to anyone else. It's just that August is going to present opportunities for you to see how much progress you have made. Um, it might be that you're better at managing your stress now. Maybe you're better at managing your anger now. Um, you might be better at playing the guitar now because of new skills you've been working on, like with another instrument. So it can literally be anything. Uh, but I do feel like some of you might have a feeling of dread when it comes to trying this thing again. It could be like, I don't want to pick up the guitar again because it brings back bad memories or um, it frustrates me or I wasn't able to play as well as I had hoped in the past. So I really don't do that anymore. And now you're finding greater ease. You're finding more comfort in, in this activity. You're finding that you make more progress. You're understanding things better and there's just more enjoyment there. So um, it, this is, this is actually really cool energy because I do have a feeling that it's like something you might dread, something you might not be looking forward to, but it's actually a huge blessing for you. Um, even an, an idea or an ambition that you had in the past that failed, um, but now you've developed a skill and it's going to really help you succeed. And I, I do think that you're just going to see how much you've changed. You're going to see, um, you're going to see that something about this situation has changed. And I am, I'm pretty confident that what has changed about this situation is you, even if there have been changes, like if this involves another person, that person may have changed as well, but you have certainly changed. So I want to take a look at your tea leaf cards. I already have them shuffled for you and let's see what we have. So we have bread. This is a period of prosperity and abundance. Um, we have success and we have the letter V, which is, um, victory in some endeavor. Wow. Um, definitely having success now. And I feel like this really is success in an area that you didn't view yourself as successful in, in the past or something that you let go of. You let go of the opportunity to have a victory in this area. And now you're going to be, um, kind of stepping into that role again, reclaiming that space again. Um, this is a time for you to put all of the growth that you've been working on into action during August. And I do, I think you're going to be presented with an opportunity to do that, whether this is something you create for yourself or not. And for a lot of you, I think you're not going to necessarily create this for yourself. It could be something that just kind of happens. It feels like it's, um, like it's just kind of sprung on you, but you're actually going to have a lot of success with this. Um, it's like, you're going to do this naturally. So this isn't about striving super hard uh, to have this success, to reach this level of success. It's about having this victory because something has changed deep within you. Um, it's a victory you can't stop from happening because of the growth that you've experienced. I'm hearing triggered. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm just hearing. Oh, okay. For some of you, it's that you're not going to be triggered by the same things that you that that used to bother you. Um, this must be a huge thing because I feel like an idea like that was coming through before, but I must not have like fully um, fully gotten it. <laughs> Your guides weren't satisfied, so they're like triggered. Um, you're not going to be as triggered. So this is giving you maybe victory over someone or over a particular situation. Um, Yes, something's just not triggering you anymore. You've reached a new level of maturity. You're able to handle something that in the past would have stumped you, would have thrown you. Maybe even in the past, something you would have wanted to avoid at all costs. And now you're able to handle this. You're able to move through this with more grace, more ease. And not just that, but be very victorious and very successful in this. Um, this is a time also when I'm, I'm sensing you're going to have a lot of ideas and some of those ideas might be old ideas resurfacing to be revisited, uh, from this new perspective. So don't be afraid to face the way this is coming through is don't be afraid to face any old monster, maybe a monster you used to run from. And this can mean many different things. This can be just something that created a lot of fear in you, something that brought up a lot of anxious feelings in you. This could even be a person that you have viewed um, in a very negative light because of the way they've treated you. But it's there's a message to not run from the same old monsters anymore. It's like you have victory over these things now because 
I feel like for a lot of you, you might remember this monster that we're calling it as something that's very scary or something that's very irritating. Um, but the person that you've become, the person that you are now sees that monster as a cute little kitten. Um, when it used to seem, I feel like it's like whatever used to seem like a big mountain to you is now a tiny little anthill. But I'm also getting this feeling that you won't really know that and you won't realize it until you confront it. So you might not even experience this growth or experience uh, the way you can apply this growth until you confront this thing. Um, it could be something maybe from your childhood that like you were interested in or you were good at, but because you were kind of forced to participate in it, or there might've been a lot of stress and a lot of expectation around this thing. You have just like really shied away from it. You have not wanted to pursue this anymore. And it, it kind of brings up this feeling of it being this monster or giving you a lot of anxiety. And now when you find yourself again, having the opportunity to participate in this, you realize that you can now manage that stress better and you can now make choices for yourself that, that make this more fun. It makes it something that you can just, um, kind of explore with and not have to feel so much pressure around. So yes, definitely positive vibes and a lot of victory and success headed your way, especially about things that are resurfacing from the past, interestingly enough. So let's look at the tarot and see what other messages want to come through for you for the month of August. Okay, the cards are shuffling a little bit weird. <laughs> um, I would describe the way the cards are behaving as resistant. There we go. I feel like you guys are going to smooth out as we go through this month. Um, there really might be a little bit, yeah, there might be a little bit of resistance when it comes to exploring something from the past or when this past thing, um, when you are confronted with this past thing. Maybe, but... Um, you're going to smooth it out. You're going to find that you are well equipped to deal with whatever life is going to throw at you, even if it does bring up some scary memories for you. Okay. Let's see what energy we have for number three for August 2022. Get your cards good and shuffle because we are going to work our way um kind of threw these cards from the bottom up. So we have the lovers. <laughs> we have the seven of cups and we have the ace of wands. Okay. Um, for a lot of you, this really is about a past love resurfacing with the lovers card coming out. Um, potentially even a relationship that has had challenges in the past, maybe even challenges you could, um, you couldn't see how to overcome in the past, but I'm getting the message that things may be different now. Circumstances have changed and probably both of you have changed in this, um, in this situation. So it's not going to be as it was before, whatever these challenges are before, um, whatever these challenges were before things have changed now. So, um, that's a message for some of you. Yeah, I'm really, I keep hearing circumstances have changed. So maybe this person was in a relationship or you were, it just wasn't great timing for you in the past, but it's like, um, <laughs> something has changed that might open up a door for you to explore something with this person. Um, we also have the seven of cups here and both the lovers and the seven of cups are cards that talk about choice. So I feel like you're realizing that you, um, maybe the way that you choose to view these situations in some cases, your choice to even confront these situations in the first place is critical for the month of, of August. Um, this is kind of a month where you're really exercising your free will, your power to choose. And it looks like you have a lot of options. You have a lot of um, ideas and a lot of creative energies with the Ace of Wands that can talk about the spark of a new idea or moving toward a new passion. Um, in your case, I feel like not only will you have new ideas, but you're going to have new ideas about old situations, new ideas about how to solve old problems or um, 
kind of new revitalized inspiration about old passions or projects from the past, something is being born here or reborn because it feels new and at the same time it feels very familiar. <laughs> um, that is interesting. And you know, I was talking about you maybe experiencing a kind of a deja vu feeling. If that's happening for you, and if you're kind of thinking back um, about this energy and thinking, you know, like I'm, I'm not, this isn't anything from the past. This is not anything I've experienced before, but you have kind of that eerie feeling of deja vu, even though you know you've never experienced this before, just know that that can be past life energy. So you might be finding yourself pursuing a new passion that feels oddly familiar to you on some level, or it feels fulfilling to you on such a deep level that you're like, it feels almost like I have participated in this before or like I have known about this before, but this is actually brand new to me. This could be because this is something that's very familiar for you uh, from a past life and it's going to make you feel like you're um, right on the right path. It's going to make you feel very connected to some of the lessons that you've learned or connected to some of these versions of yourself in the past. So keep that in mind. That deja vu feeling that's not um, that's not coming from nowhere. And when you can't place it, when it's really not something that you uh, can put your finger on and that you think you've experienced in this lifetime, that can be an experience from a previous lifetime, which is kind of cool. So don't get freaked out. Let's peel back another layer and see what else we have. We have the chariot, the knight of swords. Whoa, holy cow. Like once you have an idea about something, there's no stopping you. It's like you're off to the races. <laughs> um, I feel like something might've been blocked for you in the past and that's where that past energy is coming from. Um, and it's like there's a window of opportunity here in August and you are running to make sure you don't miss it. Um, this is your chance. This is your chance. The energy is there. Things are aligned. And I, I'm getting the, the vibe that you can feel this. So, wow, there's so much movement here. There's so much movement here. It's like you guys are ready for a change. You're ready to implement this change. You're ready to uh, maybe even go back and do something differently. And it's like you're not going to let this chance escape you. So the advice that I'm seeing here is to not let old fears or old blockages hold you back anymore because you really aren't the same person um, who wasn't ready to deal with those challenges before or who couldn't succeed in that area before. You now are ready to try this again or you're ready to... Um, to try maybe something for the first time, but kind of put yourself out there again. Wow. I feel like for some of you, this is about something that you didn't have the time or the focus to devote to something before in the past. And now it's time um, to move. It's time to let go of whatever was holding you back before, because there might be something that's kind of clearing and opening for you. And it's like, I have this, um, which is funny because now that I think about it, this might be tying into the lion's gate. So this might be that this is really a shift in a transformation that you're wanting to make, um, stepping through this lion's gate portal, but I'm kind of getting that image. Like, you know, in a, a show or a movie, there might be like a, um, a gate, literally a gate, um, that's being lowered and somebody's running, trying to get past it before they run out of time and they just make it right before the gate is lowered all the way to the ground. They kind of slide beneath it and they just make it. That's the feeling that this is giving me. And it's not to say that you're going to miss your opportunity, but it does feel like you, you don't want to, like you can feel that the energy is there for you. You can feel that this is the time for you to move and you do not want to miss this opportunity. So actually this is giving me the feeling of somebody that's very prepared, somebody that has been working toward this and you're like, uh, -uh I'm not missing this opportunity. Um, no matter what it takes, I am going to get there. I can feel that the energy is there. I can feel all the vibes there. I can feel something pushing me. And I think you're right on with that feeling. You are right on with knowing that this is your time. And this is when, like when it's going to happen for you. This is when, when you put in that effort, you're going to see the results and you have a lot of choices here, but it's about being very focused and knowing what it is that you want to achieve while you have this golden opportunity. Uh, the chariot is also a card of victory. 
So we kind of have a double message of victory here. <laughs> um, This could be about winning something for some of you, winning a competition, winning a legal battle, something like that. Um, it doesn't have to be anything that's that definite, but it, it certainly could be about that. I think this is about you um, making this huge transition and really pushing, uh, pushing for this growth, pushing for this forward momentum and going just as fast as you can. The only other card here, like if I could just choose, I'd put the eight of wands because that's the energy that it's giving me. But you you don't even need that. You have the chariot and the knight of swords. You are on the move. You are on your way. Um, let's look at this final layer of energy here. We have the eight of cups. So um, I just, I really see you leaving the past in the past and walking toward this like in this card, there's this kind of sunny horizon here. You're leaving whatever that is back there and walking toward this point. Even if this is something that you are uh, revisiting or you're giving another try, you're not going to let whatever happened in the past hold you back. Uh, you're ready to kind of let this, let this succeed. You know, you're ready to let this energy move now. Um, the Eight of Cups is about making the choice. We were talking about, again, choices. Making the choice to, to move stuck energy. Choosing to see ourselves in a different way so we can have experiences that the old us never could have had. Um, the old version of ourselves, we weren't ready for those experiences, but now you're ready. Sometimes that old stuff from the past has to resurface so that we can prove to ourselves that we can handle it now. We can prove to ourselves that like we we can have this now. We uh, we deserve this. We've done this growth. We always could have had it, but we might have had like a mental um, block against it. So there, I just feel like you have the answer now. Whatever that might mean to you, you have the answer now. You have the method now. Um, you can have success now. And I think you're seeing that in August and there's really a push. So let's, let's peek at your, the bottom of the deck energy and see what we have here. Oh my gosh, you have the star. That's a, a very hopeful, a very optimistic card. This is about shooting for the stars. That's exactly what you're doing with this chariot and knight of swords energy. You're shooting for the stars. You're not afraid to hold back. You're not worried about what if I don't hit the star I'm aiming for. You're worried about launching yourself as far as you can. You're worried about making as much progress as you can. And that is gorgeous energy. That's that success. That's, that's a victory in itself to even reach that point. So, whoa. <laughs> Well, let's get some advice. Advice for number three for the month of August, please. Advice for number three for August. Wow. You had cards jump out. You had one card jump out. So let's see is you have the new moon in cancer relax <laughs> um the full moon in aries cool your emotions and the first quarter moon in aries step into your power so a whole bunch of aries energy there that doesn't surprise me that that's not surprising because um all of this like forward momentum here is really indicative of some Aries energy here. It's really the, the energy of movement, the energy of action. Um, let's break this down. So um, there is a lot, of, a lot of Aries energy in your advice. I think that's really because this is a time for action for you. This is a time for you to kind of put what you've learned into action but then there's also this relaxed message with the new moon and cancer so there's also this message to be calm as you do this and this could be because confronting some sort of past issue might bring up a lot of emotions for you in some cases it could bring up a lot of fear for you but what I'm seeing is that you you really don't have anything to be afraid of and that's what your guides want you to know there's nothing to fear here um, you're able to make this progress without this fear. So this is just a little reminder that you have all of the tools that you need to be successful. 
Um, so relax, literally, I really don't feel like relax means sit back and do nothing because I don't think that August is that kind of month for you. I don't think it's the kind of month where you're not um, making progress. Um, you have all this Aries energy, um, but it does mean to be confident. Um, yeah, that's really more the vibe I'm getting. Be confident in your ability to succeed here. So let's look at moon placements for you during the month because it can give you kind of an idea of some important times for you dates for you to keep in mind so the moon will be in cancer on the 22nd through the 24th and the moon will be in aries the 15th and the 16th so those might be important dates for you to keep in mind 15th and the 16th 22nd 23rd and 24th of the month um, beautiful energy so much action here and I feel like this is going to heal a lot of wounds for you especially past wounds past fears this is about clearing all of that out so that you can just um, you can just sprint and <laughs> sprint forward I feel like the rest of the year is going to be highly productive for you and this is a key uh, a key component to that. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm wishing you absolutely the most beautiful, the most abundant, the most productive, because I know you're going to be productive and victorious month of August. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me and letting me read your cards. If you did like this reading, if you resonated with any of these messages, don't forget to like the video, leave me a comment down below and hit that subscribe button if you feel like it. And hopefully I will see you again really soon in another reading. Bye.